Hey everyone, and welcome back to Koali Zoo this time. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we are back on my channel because I jumped in for a certain lady uh, who yeah, is uh, being sick. I'm so sick. thankful. Yeah, there she is. And yeah. also Silver is with us. Good, good day. Hello, so, everybody. Who is not sick this time? So big, big, big round of applause uh, for that. Yes, <laughs> so, yes. Thank you. Mike. Thank you. I've worked on it. We're getting oh no, there. Mike is sick. Yeah, but then again, we have another uh, problem this time, and this is Mike. This time, Mike is. We really check. Uh, should check our microphones if they are not somehow secretly able to uh, transfer bacteria or whatever, um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's that's gonna be something really weird. Um, yeah, today's episode is. Um, I have to, you know, I, I, I give you a proper intro after we did this little dedication over here, because um, last time we asked you what the education center should be called, and a lot of people did say it should be named after Corellis because he's still part of the Koali family, if you will. And uh, so we were initially like, hey, that's that's a brilliant idea, you know, that's a good idea. And yeah. so this is what I did. I just made a little sign here uh, to dedicate this uh, education center to Corellis. Um, yeah, just Gotta very simple one. Gotta love Corellis. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the Corellis school. See what I did there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I see like it. it. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, no, actually, it's, it's, it's nice. I really like the fact that we have something uh, dedicated yeah. to our lovely Corellis. And it works out with the name yeah, as well. I have to say, I wanted to kind of uh, bring in a piña colada in here, but I just couldn't justify how to do it. So I will hide it in any of the bars <laughs> later on. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, but point. here we go. I'm just putting that in and you get a, a little bit of a cinematic in a few seconds to see this thing in action. Uh, but oh, yeah, yeah, so that was uh, just a very small part, which I uh, integrated just to make sure that uh, we don't forget about that. And uh, we have it for the future in here. There we go. So now you have it uh, a little bit of a cinematic. Oh, this was such a smooth transition from the actual <laughs> image into it. It wasn't even not meant to do that way. But yeah, so Fair that's nice. it. At this point, um, hope you guys are doing good anyways like besides being sick i hope you guys are doing good are you yeah. yeah still recovering but already way better than a few days ago so i'm really really That's happy really that you could take over koali and uh, i'm really thankful that you did <laughs> awesome yeah talking of takeover sylv <laughs> yeah. i um needed to get away <laughs> with uh, some of your bridges not because they have to go it's just because i couldn't fill in the water again yeah the water wasn't <laughs> that blocked. was an issue i definitely saw coming as soon as i saw you yeah. removing the water i was like oh wait wait um but yeah <laughs> you realized oh, it. That's, uh, yeah. yeah it's really but frustrating i tested if you i secretly tested that uh, off screen you can easily put them in again it's working yeah exactly uh so yeah i, I just did that but yeah it's super cool no okay um oh, so oh oh you're 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 putting Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I'm so starting to like piece like it together that. as well right now because you've sent us a few screenshots, a small few peeks mm -hmm. of, of what you're going to build. And I can already, you know, sort of see this coming together. This is this is going to be the big island, I suppose. Yeah. Oh. So, OK, here's a bit, bit of a back, back story. Now, um, I have a, I have a list of ideas for Kuali in general, but um, uh, none of these ideas would have worked for this short amount of time. And I, I was like, okay, I, I could now do two things. I could start on doing one of the bigger projects, but then I would also force myself to have it in the next episode again to fi finish it. Um, or I could go and do a little research on something that I could do else. And uh, so I went on to do a little research about animals that are local uh, or native to Indonesia and the uh, close uh, local environments and whatever. And then I found, obviously, that there is this uh, Sumatran island, uh, or Sumatra, and uh, we have this lovely animal, uh, which we all know, which is the Sumatran... Sumatran? Is that the right pronunciation? Uh -huh. um, but yeah, the Sumatran uh, tiger. I've always said it as Sumatra, which, uh, but that's the way that Dutch people do it. I'm also not sure if that's, like, the correct Yeah, way, I'm also I think not it's sure Sumatra. how you... Yeah, but, well, I guess people know what we mean. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> I did a little research on that, like... Okay, it's this, this island where you also have this Sumatran uh, elephant. And I thought, okay, you know what? They look pretty similar to the in-game ones, the Indian elephant and the Bengal tiger. And for all the animal experts out there, yes, I know, similar is just a matter of perspective. <laughs> if you're a tiger expert, they don't look similar at all. Um, but for the matter of what we have in the game right now, 
I would say it's fine to go with them. Mm. As soon as we would have them in the game, surely it's it's easy to just exchange it. But the idea was to have a little island which represents the island of Sumatra in our zoo. To have like a themed, a local themed island, if you will. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, so really that's cool. The, so that's the I don't story. have like a map of Indonesia really in front like of me or anything, but the shape of the island, does it kind of resemble the shape of Sumatra? Because it is kind of like a long stretched island in real life as well. Yeah, as much as I could do it. Um, also with this little uh, island to the left of it. But yeah, just on a very small scale and <laughs> only a little bit like, it's more or less like just giving it a signature, mm -hmm. but not more than that. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I yeah. like the idea. Really cool. And I just yeah, love and then what you're I was doing here. Also utilizing my water tutorial. Um, God, I don't know why I even did that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking at this like, oh my God, this must have been like... Oh, You're the most terrible nightmare. thing to do. Yeah. Super annoying. And uh, oh, yeah, I yeah, feel Yeah, I wanted you. to get a certain look to it. And uh, I needed to do the water, um, yeah, the stages of the water uh, with the barrier first. And then you can kind of work around with the terrain as I do over here. So big props again to the stamp tool. I love it. It's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, the thing is about the water, as I figured, and for those of you who haven't seen that, I made a whole tutorial about this, but beware, it's a long tutorial with a lot of information um, about the water, because the water is kind of complicated in the game. But it's um, super useful. And I really figured that one thing I didn't talk about in the tutorial is that there is also a limitation in how close you do the barriers to each other. Like the, oh. There is a certain distance which gets a little bit problematic. And so that's also why I needed to make those levels a bit wider mm. than I would love them to be. Yeah. Uh, because you also have to be like four meters at least um, in, in width as well as in height and like four meters in every di dimension, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so that made it a lot more uh, complicated. And um, this one over here, like this little field of rice, which it will be in a few seconds, well, minutes, um, it's gonna be more or less like the eye catcher. That's what you see from the island. And I wanted to have it uh, here because of two reasons. I wanted to hide the island a little bit behind that little rise thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to also have a certain viewpoint for the people when they walk over into the area where your um, reptile house is and also where the temple would be. Mm. But none of the views is blocked, so you can still see the temple in the background and you can also still obviously see your reptile house. Cool. So I love the really? way that this is I'm coming together. I'm super curious for yeah. the end result of this. Like you shared a picture and I had no idea. I was on my phone, so it was really small and I was like, Yeah. I can't really tell what this is. And then later on you send another picture and I was like, Oh my god, I, I really love this. But still, like I'm just super curious how does this going to look in the end? Mm -hmm. Like I'm really curious. Yeah, I also prepared already some screenshots for you, which I'll drop in the Discord right at the end of this episode. Uh -huh. So we can then talk about the final result. Um, because I don't have too many, like, actually, I have none of these integrated in our video right now. But I will have a few um, lovely cinematic uh, videos. But uh, yeah, for the moment, I have uh, a big image for you guys, which I'll drop into the Discord at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure. Um, oh, yeah. And I used Moss for the first time ever in that game. Yeah, I saw people <laughs> using moss also and like, um, what was it? Like in between uh, common reeds and stuff at the edges. So it looks a little bit like the, the algaes, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice way of using it. Like not many people do use this. Uh, was that Mike coming into our chat or... Oh wait! No, it, so for us, it's just disconnecting it's, from our from our talk. Yeah, like, I think we have to see. We, we just wait for a few yeah. seconds if he's going to join again. He's still online. I really hope he's keeping the recording. <laughs> he's just gone all of a sudden. Uh, it would have been a very fun recording without any issues of Sylph with his technology, but it seems still <laughs> he's managing to have some. <laughs> God, it's so may, funny. may I just also apologize for my voice, guys? Well, you all know that I had the flu. Like, no doubt, if you have seen in the last. Episode, episodes and i haven't been uploading it on my own channel yet hopefully this weekend too but no guarantees because talkies uh, cost so much energy yeah. but um 
Uh, is he back? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm back. Oh, Sorry, I back. just had some internet <laughs> issues. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I was like, is that Mike joining us? No, wait, we're still. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, go on. No, but Mike, Mike was sick, by the way, but... Yeah. And he's what cooking he in a church or something a, like that. I don't cooking know Cooking at the church or something like that. So yeah, he's probably spreading his virus everywhere now. Because <laughs> yeah, we gave that, him this virus via our microphones, of course. So. <laughs> <laughs> so he's holding a speech, you will say. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Uh, but yeah, then again, I have to praise Mike for a second here again, because in, in one of the most important things in, in this build today will be the work with rocks and uh, terrain. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure he will not be 100% satisfied with it quite yet, because time reasons, uh, I couldn't do everything perfectly oh, fine yeah. by now. But the main points are done. So also, little disclaimer, there has to be some work uh, being done about this one. Mm. But I think it won't be necessary to dedicate an episode, I guess. Uh, uh, maybe next time or someone else will do that because it I think it will be about an hour of work just putting some more plants here and there and right. just fixing some of the uh, path issues but that's about it I did mostly everything else but I think honestly I know Mike is our little foliage fixer upper and um, parasite <laughs> who goes into all of our stuff <laughs> yeah. uh, this is some of the cool the coolest foliage I've seen in in this whole zoo so far I really love how the rice field patties are coming together Same. it's super cool it's really awesome yeah <laughs> yeah, I looked. I looked up a lot of reference images, and I tried to really get the vibe in mm -hmm. of also the t this kind of terrace-ish um, build. Uh, so yeah, I, I really yeah. like, and I'm really happy that you guys like it. Though there's one thing I'm, um, I, I by now I figured what I did wrong there. It's it's not a major issue, but since the three tanks are each different in height, um, you get a different depth in the water, obviously. So mm -hmm. the shading is different. And now as the higher terras are deeper than the lower ones, <laughs> you, you have some brighter water in there, which oh, yeah. from certain angles looks super weird. Uh. Um, and, uh, but there is an easy way to fix it. We just, just need to put in the, uh, um, how is it called? The, uh, there are the, these kind of soil pieces. Yeah, exactly. The, the free p yeah. So we oh, can just move them in to make the water a little bit more shallow and then it should yeah. be oh, uh, yeah. a little bit weird again, uh, less weird again. Yeah, so, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, that sounds good, yeah. But altogether, it but came out really well. I do have to really say, well. yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> no, altogether, I think it's something that, honestly, I think worked out better than I could have ever imagined because it's an idea that I think we've all sort of had floating around for a while. Uh, just I, I never expected it to even be remotely possible in the game to such a, to such a degree. Same. Um, you did really well. The, the, the big question is, though, did, did you add animals? Oh, yeah, I did. We oh, have okay, a tiger cool. and an elephant. Um, uh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's here. right. You shared a picture and of the elephant. Yeah, a properly working one, I should say. The only little issue is, okay, so okay, here's me nitpicking about my own stuff, but the, I wanted to switch actually the habitats exactly the other way around. So at the moment, it's the um, tigers in the back side of the island and ha sharing this left-hand side small island, which I just built the path above or across right now. Um, and the Indian elephants, they have the front part of it, including the rice field. I would have loved to have an animal that could work together with the rice fields, but also the tiger could not wa walk over any of this. It's just too intricate, and the location si or mm. locomotion system, or how you're going to call it, is not going to recognize mm. that. And to be honest, you could also call this episode the struggle of a movement and a uh, traversable area, because trust me, that was like at least 40% of the whole build was fixing where the animals can yeah, go. Yeah, right. Insane. I hear your frustrations. <laughs> Insane, I tell you. Bec but it's also me. I wanted to make this look natural. So except one single um, fence in the water for the tiger, because I felt it has to be a bit more stable, you know, for the guests as well. <laughs> yeah. we, have not a, we have not a single v visible border in this whole island. And the cool. animals cannot. Oh, escape. that's really cool. That's it's only, really cool. It's only done by uh, rock work and stuff, and it still looks really um, natural. Because I'm so glad that I found these images. There is, I don't, I think it's a river on Sumatra Island, uh, and this river had a lot of rocks in it. And so this is what I was basing our rivers on as well, because I was like, I need something to justify why I used basically half a mountain in the river <laughs> <laughs> at the end. Um, uh, and yeah, so here's it. 
uh, Sumatra Island has a river that basically looks like that. Oh, that's really cool. If everyone, well, a- anyone wants to know that. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I really like, I'm curious what you're going to do with the mulch next to the path. Like, I think we got, you're going to make it overgrown or something, but I really like the idea already. Yeah, I wanted to, like, the thing is, you cannot get the terrain too close to our yeah. lovely path system in the game. Um, but since the mulch is really blending in nicely with the dark soil, I was like, you know, I can just do it that way. So it seems as if the um, the path would still be really much on mm. terrain. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. so that's how I did it. Because I wanted to continue your very linear uh, middle straight path, of what you just yeah, installed. Right. Because I feel like we need to keep that also in terms of how we disperse the people later on. And so that's why I continued that just completely straight through to give me also some kind of ruler uh, to, to, to know where I want to go. Yeah. And then just also fix the wall there. And then here's the good news. Um, f- standing at the... Okay, I need to... Th- okay, standing in front of your shop you built in the last episode, Sylph, looking towards the temple, mm-hmm. you have a straight view. There's nothing blocking oh, it. Oh, that's good. That's cool. Yeah. So that's how I planned this wall. It's not too high. It uses a bit of uh, false perspective and you can still see the temple in the back. So it's not drawing the attention from Mm. it. I really like the rock work you did. Like those are really things that I I learned a lot from Mike. Like when he when he uh, did my Milan Zoo, uh, oh yeah, garden fakes, like like those forced perspective things. I'm like, oh my goodness, how those kind of things. I just don't think of that, and I just really love how you use this rock work too. It's really nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's. Uh, I learned it all from from Mike. I mean, <laughs> what I did before, I think it still didn't look too bad, but it was more like feeling. You know, I yeah. just my rock work was always feeling, but with his like hard facts about it, uh, really made the whole thing a little bit easier. And obviously, try to always use the actual terrain to blend it in ever so mm-hmm. slightly is also very. Yeah, important. I was just about to say the way yeah. you mix the textures together works out really well in this case with the rock work and the terrain and the mulch as well. Mm-hmm. Mulch is like one of my favorite yeah. pieces in Planet Zoo. A oh, super cool oh, addition. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. I really Remember like we it. had that in Planet Coaster, but it was grid based. <laughs> yeah. And everybody no, just not. ended up That's using some like the, the, the undersides of building pieces that were off the grid to like create a sort of mulch like texture. Uh, and yeah. I think they yeah, recognized the sort of candy. Need. Yeah, I remember candy turning it upside down. Mm. <laughs> no, but we're uh, I'm very happy we have those pieces now indeed. Now the only thing missing is glass with no edge. Oh yeah, that's so true. We we still we don't even have like a, a grid piece which is completely without edge. They like oh no, we have one without edge, but then it has some some other textures. Yeah, in exactly. It. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, here's now <laughs> the fun part, uh, the the very relaxing part of uh, putting down foliage has ended, guys. <laughs> now let's get into uh, the building part of it. Is that with the with the roof? <laughs> yeah, and I need to explain a little bit here. So we have to use our imagination this time because seriously, I had not enough space to make it really 100% realistic. I wanted to make this also at least somewhat realistic in terms of where you would have the animals and how they could be maintained in there. So usually big cats also have a second uh, part of their habitat where another male or another female in uh, could be housed in. So they're segregated, right? There's some, you know, stuff going on. Yeah. Um, Which didn't work out too well. So I made this all being down in the ground and also the same with the elephants. As you can see, I made this big garage-ish door, which in terms of our imagination is like a second layer basement where Uh the elephants could have their heart shelter. Mm. Yeah. It's obviously not existing and they don't (laughs) complain because they have enough terrain. But just to have this little bit of realism aspect in here, uh, I also planned this house over here um, the same way. So the left hand side, which is below the shops, um, will be the more or less like hidden away part of their habitat where also the vet could go and, you know, check the animals. Uh And this other part is where the animal could actually be sleeping in and stuff and people could watch. Right. Okay, cool. That's so, very complicated yeah. logistics right there, yeah. But it's also the kind of thing oh, that yeah. in yes. the game you just kind of have to always use your imagination for because uh, the way that habitats work in the game compared to real life zoo is definitely somewhat of a simplification. So I think it makes sense yeah, to do it definitely. like that, yeah. 
Ooh, and I'm seeing what a connection also to What's the it? other areas. That's actually really good. Um, <laughs> I think so far we've been very afraid to like connect different parts of the zoo together, which eventually is going to need to happen as well. Um, so I'm yeah, but I'm surprised that in just a few episodes that things are really are really coming along really nice. Mm -hmm. Like you really feel connections. Like even though it's not really connected, but. Like in the first three, four episodes, it was all like we all have our own projects. Like, okay, I'm gonna build there, I'm gonna build there, and it's all it oh, yeah. was all like super separated. And now you're coming closer together, and it it starts to feel really like more of a zoo. I really yeah, like that. True. Yeah, and I think it also, I'm, I'm really happy it appears to be happening now because we had a lot of comments that were to a certain degree also a bit negative about it and stating that exactly like you said, it, it feels almost like being um, separated, uh, yeah, not, not even episodes, but more like projects, as you said, mm -hmm. and people started noticing it. But like, this is what collaborations are about. You have to set a certain tone uh, because otherwise, if, if everyone would need to build right off what the other one has done it almost gets a little bit too forced and this is not how creativity would work to a mm -hmm. certain extent especially not with four people yeah yeah true so to make it organic you have to let people go in with their own style do the thing and then for example let a certain mic do <laughs> this <laughs> parasite work and uh yeah <laughs> No, just kidding, but it's, it's how it works. You have to get people in that also uh, reinforce what you started or maybe even change it a little bit to make it even better. And this is what it's all about. And I love how this works. And I really would love if, if some of you goes in here and tackles a few items about this area because you feel like you have an idea which could work even better. I'm more than mm -hmm. happy that you will mm. do yeah. because I will do the same with something when I found something in your work which could be potentially better and we're just going to exchange ideas. Yeah. And that's gonna be how yeah. it works. No, yeah, I think I, th I think, uh, I think, yeah. But yeah. there's there hasn't been one point ever that I have been uncertain by the fact that this would have been would not be an amazing zoo like we did with Koali, uh, with Koali yeah, Beach. Same. Like obviously with Koali Beach, the difference was that we all kind of always used the same pieces. So like many of the buildings uh, had like the thatch roofs and stuff so it was all more of the same so maybe people were not that worried that much during Koali Beach mm -hmm. uh, mm. that it might be like oh yeah so many completely different projects but I don't really don't think people should worry about this at yeah. all like I think I think it's really going to be fine and I never never really doubt about yeah. that at all I think it's also yeah, just same. the nature of collaborations that the start always tends to be a little bit less collaborative because everybody's just kind of dropping their ideas in and getting things started. And then once you have things to work on that other people built and you can start, you know, connecting things and changing things all around, that's when it becomes much more collaborative. But the start, it feels, is Definitely. always much more sort of unique. Um, <laughs> anyway, I feel like... There's there's a roof to talk about here. <laughs> oh my god. You've potentially seen that there was a, a big old cut in between. Mm. This was you can you can if you want to have an image for that cut just Im imagine this small guy, this little boy which you all know from the gif uh, handing his computer out of the window and screaming I don't want to wait for delay or whatever. I was the same guy, only with this roof, and I just completely shut down the game for an hour because I, I, I just needed to stop at that point. Um, no, this type of roof looks obviously gorgeous. Uh -huh. The problem about this is that this type of roof has every possible uh, angle <laughs> that you can imagine that you have to work <laughs> with. It's freaking tilted in every freaking dimension and that works out it may have well. helped if you didn't use planks but just more thicker i wanted to use the brackets yeah that okay i, I that get that but i, I that just uh, yeah <laughs> exactly i wanted to use them i did um and then i was thinking of sylph's computer <laughs> <laughs> yeah and everyone else's computer uh -huh. and i was like no That's i'm not fair. gonna do this because this is just insane how many pieces you would have known even with this roof it's l a little bit leggy already not no but not i meant I, I don't mean I, I just mean 
like the size of the planks, but then like the thicker ones, so poles or anything. So that、oh. if you you moved it in a like a slightly angle, you don't have like gaps or anything. So it might have looked, uh, what might have been a little bit easier. Uh, true. I also tested that. My issue was I wanted to keep it slightly open. When you look from the inside, you have this this roof a little bit open. Yeah. This is actually how they are because they they are in in a very hot and humid area. So they basically only exist to give shade. That's their that's their thing. But there still is some airflow. You will see that even better when I copy that over for the elephants now because that's the shop over here, and there will be a slightly different version for the elephants. And I wanted to get this little bit of open area in. Just a very very subtle bit,、mm -hmm. um, and this works really well with the planks. Yeah, and, that's、um, that's so yeah. true. Yeah, totally get、mm. it. Yeah, that's that's why. And what I did also with the、um, corners and edges, I made them a bit thicker. So exactly what you say to make them a bit more clean. Yeah,、uh, I made my life at least a little bit easier there. But yeah, so now you can really see that all coming together. I have to say though. Um, funny enough, but this wouldn't have been possible without the、yeah. Arctic. Yeah, I, I was just about to say, I see some、pieces. Arctic arches and things like that here, which is quite surprising, but it definitely、yeah. works out. Those curved pieces are really good. It's really cool. Yeah, that's super.、Uh, like they, they were super handy. Some of them are looking really, really cool.、Um, and also for those of you who are always a lot, especially your guys out there,、um, you're always a lot into. Architecture and、uh, especially into、uh, statics. The problem is, yes, I know that this will be under-supported at the end. But if I would support that in a correct way, the elephants would have no shelter. <laughs> you can see over here. I needed to delete them again later on because the elephants have no shelter、oh. because they cannot walk in there. Again, traversable area.、Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really hope that the traversable area will be adjusted a bit more in the future. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but again,、Makes、I think it, it it really does what it should do. So I'm, I'm already I'm trying to like figure out if there are ways to maybe get around that, but、um, <laughs> that's something I'll try and say for a future episode as well. Maybe Mike knows a way <laughs> too. We'll see. <laughs> Very interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, but okay. So this is this is the main. Um, building part of the island done now. So this is where people will be、um, dragged, and this is where they can go. They have a viewing platform. They, they get another viewing platform now for the elephants. They have a、um, gallery kind of、uh, window for the tiger, and everything else has to be placed around this island in terms of maybe towers or viewing platforms.、Mm. We have to see. Makes sense. God. So, a lot of yeah, that's that goes that's、uh, the the work. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I also needed to figure that the people can still go through here without clipping into the roof. So yeah, it was all on a very tight yeah, space.、Exactly. Did you uh, did you uh, test it with the guests so that they really go up on the platform to watch the? Oh、elephants? yeah, they do. They、oh, do. I、nice. needed to do a little bit of bin work,、uh, trash bin work, to make sure that they don't get stuck.、Uh, but it worked out <laughs> in the end. Oh, that's really nice. Some trash bin work. That's、yeah. great. Yeah, this is kind of the translation of where the hell are our barriers?、Yeah. Oh, I was about to say like that's also something I'm missing so much:、yeah. the curbs, <laughs> the curbs, and the barriers. Like, oh my goodness, that. Speaking of barriers, it's so frustrating、I、to keep using the bins. I do like this barrier around this base section.、Um, it's a really cool way to like integrate some foliage and stuff like that, maybe into the facade. Would be super cool. Exactly, yeah. But、uh, it's、yeah. really nice. I really like those uh, those uh, fencing. It's, it's super simple, but yeah, yeah, totally I, I didn't think, think of it. When I when I looked into some of the architectural styles,、um, it is all simple with a lot of wood and stuff like that. And so I just thought, okay, why not translate that into here? You don't always need those fancy. Uh, very detailed ones it, because it does、no. the job, you know. Yeah, but it it looks really nice. So, to actually talk a little bit about this traditional architecture, were there any specific buildings or like a region or、uh, like pictures that inspired you to this style? Yeah, definitely. There is、um, when you go to Sumatra Island, and、um, there are a lot of these kind of beach、mm -hmm. houses, which、um, some of them may even be like hotel resort houses. But there are a lot of also little local townhouses, which were、uh, built around a、uh, city、mm -hmm. center, which 
obviously is mostly only a little fountain and uh, something to sit and also where you have like a fireplace and then these houses kind of disperse around it in a half yeah. circle um, and they used to be a lot over there it seems like from what I can tell from the pictures and they had them in, in various uh, ways but the roof pretty much was always the same sometimes it was wood sometimes done with thatch um, but yeah mostly in, in this kind of way and yeah so that's what inspired me to, to use those because I figured also the um, lovely shaping of the roof um, paired with the colorfulness because they used a lot of different colors yeah. for the planks. I think maybe it's also because you use every plank you can get over there. So huh. that's what you what it makes them also look so colorful as well. So yeah, that's that's what I was basing mm. it on. Maybe let me just have a look. I have the pictures here. Maybe they are even named. Yeah, because so uh, somebody on the last mm -hmm. video of Kuali Beach, which I just want to give them a quick shout out because um, I'm really... Kuali Beach? Oh my God, I keep doing it. <laughs> oh, wow. I was laughing so hard. Kuali Zoo. So... When you said um, that. <laughs> so I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but Ardi Jiffery uh, left a comment on the last Kuali Zoo episode with um, uh, a, a link, or not really a link, but a name for an overview of 34 traditional Indian house architecture styles representing mm -hmm. the 34 provinces. And it's super cool. And I basically checked this out and it had a lot of, you know, not just inspiration, but also clarification, I guess, on, you know, what the different styles are, because it's such a huge country with different types of architecture that it would be impossible, you know, to say that there's some sort of unifying style. Um, but yeah, no, I just wanted to like quickly shout that out because it's really cool. And and send it, oh, please, yeah. because I haven't seen Good it Good points. Yet. I'll send that through. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these houses remind me a lot of, I, I guess, uh, the Batak kind of architecture of Sumatra. Exactly. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, that's. I just looked it up in the meantime and it is that I'm just going to send you the picture in our Discord for a sec because that's um, so you can see which exactly I was basing it on while you see a lot of fixing <laughs> in the background of the traversable area. Who would have guessed that? Um, where is that one? Hashtag this rock is. placement. Yeah. yeah, hashtag rock placement. Oh, mm. yeah. We're we getting some tigers as well. So this is, there we go. Yes. So That's yeah, we beautiful. just have to imagine that this is the Sumatra tiger. <laughs> <laughs> um, which for the people that And the know, Sumatran um, elephant, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The elephant is uh, like for me, I'm I'm like a noob when it comes to the differentiation between those. But for me, it looked pretty similar uh, to the Indian one, like super similar. The only main difference I can spot was from the uh, mm -hmm. ear yeah. section. It looked uh, like smaller as um, as small, I should say, as the Indian one in comparison to the um, African one. But uh, the or uh, the ear looked a little bit less um, flattered, I yeah. should say. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the Indian elephants have like this, this ears that are um, almost like half yeah. each open with a little bit of scratches in and stuff. While the African used to have like this really nice and clean, big roundish ears. Uh, and it seems like that the uh, Sumatran is more or less like a combination of both while maintaining the smaller size of the mm. Indian one. Ah, interesting. okay, interesting. At least that's what I could figure from, from the images. And yeah, for the Sumatran tiger, um, it looked a lot more... Uh, trained, like not as bulky. Um, it was a bit thinner and uh, I don't want to say skinnier, but it was like, it looked a bit more like a machine, you know, very, very much. It did a lot of practice, a lot of muscles, <laughs> but being less bulky. Um, I think then also the fur is a lot more orange, like the orange is a lot more um, screaming, like it looks a bit more dangerous. And then obviously the black is way mm -hmm. more black. It has some really dark black parts around the face especially hmm. so that's what i could gasp from from the sumatran tiger yeah cool makes sense i really hope we will get some kind of big cat steals here <laughs> yeah i would <laughs> definitely love to have a big cat steal here with like 15 different cats or something that would be I'd so be cool so in for that, yeah. yeah i would love that but yeah so many people so many wishes right yeah. <laughs> we mm -hmm. just have to wait. Yeah, and we're see. really sort of starting to use Please these videos the as wish. little propaganda soapboxes sometimes. <laughs> as like, hmm, Frontier, <laughs> yeah. are y'all listening? No. <laughs> but yeah, no, I totally agree. I really like the foliage you did here. Oh, yeah, that was like, the, this one is especially something I've I'm proud never of. seen anyone using here. those trees. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted They're to work so with the big, roots because I, I especially like loved uh, how the roots were working on mm -hmm. that one. So, yeah. The roots are amazing. I really wish we had like the separate roots like we had in Planet Coaster to really mm, get yeah. like a bit of a jungle feeling. 
Ooh, I love to use my green roof. <laughs> I dig that. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm all about. I'm all about. Green oh, it's roof. really coming it's along really nice. nicely. Sorry, I'm just so looking at your speed, but like, oh, this is so. Yeah, cool. the way it's all blending together with the foliage just really makes it feel like the house yeah. is really just part of the jungle instead of sitting on this this pedestal of concrete mm. utilitarianism. Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's, uh, it, this was the plan from the very beginning to really blend it in a lot nicer. Um, also, yeah, using some vines here and there, but just making it all look a bit more uh, set mm -hmm. in there. So, yeah. yeah. So I, but bet, a, I bet the uh, the animals don't really like the foliage, now do they? <laughs> um, what the, like the elephants are not uh, so super happy, but the tiger is very good on, on, on foliage mm -hmm. in general. Okay. The tiger does not really complain too much. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. I really yeah. like that cute oh. bridge. Did, is there any animal able to use that bridge? Yeah, this the bridge is for the tiger and it does use it. Awesome. Um, but only after I did what I did uh. over here, <laughs> putting all the climbing pieces uh, in there. As you can see there, it's it's coming together. But we have an issue, which I haven't figured out oh, how to solve that tree. yet. For whatever reason, the stuff is not oh. using it. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I needed to exchange all the food enrichment that is on the other side with some... Um, uh, toys that works because the tiger has that's no surprising. issue at all but um that's yeah. uh, that's a need a bit surprise even though yeah well it might be somewhere a little bit too thin but are they able to to walk for s some way to the other side the staff I um mean? not yet so i i we have to see if we can fix that in the future uh but yeah that's about yep. the time lapse and now i did put you guys uh, a image in oh. the discord so we can keep on talking about the final result. For oh, yeah. There we go. Open it. Um, so you see that a bit more mm -hmm. in context now. Uh, I'll Do put, they I'll put use the same that rolling barrel feeder in the water? <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, I, I, I did fix that. So there's a whole bunch I did fix off screen afterwards, uh, which I, I stopped recording, which we are already too long with this episode anyway. So I thought, <laughs> okay, a lot of small little things. Because honestly, it was just me repositioning the things, checking the notifications and going back and forth. So not really exciting to see that on, on the video. Uh, and yeah, I... I have to say that overall, I think it came together pretty well. But yeah, you can definitely tell that there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, foliage work to do, especially around mm -hmm. the outsides of the river. Yeah. And yeah, also management of, of how the staff is using it. Because at this point in time, we have a, a severe <laughs> poop issue in the Indian <laughs> elephant habitat. Don't tell me about it. I had the same in my Inama Zoo. Like, I had like 15 elephants and they did poop so oh God, much yeah. it was like no 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 so i reduced the amount <laughs> like a lot like we have three in there three, oh my goodness but still <laughs> that's um crazy. yeah and uh, I, I we have to see how we do rearrange some of the staff buildings even though we don't need to put too much thought into management we still have to put thought into that because otherwise it's going to be a bit problematic so it will be a challenge for the future to find some spots to put some little mm. staff areas yeah, that's Which is a, a very I think good it's point. A, it's a very good challenge, I guess. Yeah, but I think it's going to be fine. We have still a lot of open space yeah. left. Uh, so, but I, I really uh, I, I really love how this uh, whole exactly. two habitats, I should say, really came along very nicely. I really like the roofs. I really, uh, I really like the whole view and platform is really nice. And the rice fields are, are really incredible. Like... I would have never built anything like that because I'm like, oh, well, it's going to look crap anyway. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and I think it blends so well. I, I guess you, it wouldn't look like But this is one of my favorite screenshots. I'm also going to include that in the video. So you're going to see that. Because to answer your question, yes, the tiger does use it. And also, oh, that's so cool. what, what I should have talked about in the beginning, um, this time also I looked into placement with the lighting. So I checked where the sun is coming from, first of all, before I was planning where to put the yeah, houses. Right. Good so you can point. see <laughs> the, the lighting really works uh, in, in our favor this time. Definitely. So you can create some really nice yep. views over there. That bridge is so cute. I really like that I just one. love how everything blends together. Yeah, and and that's something that these two habitats do so well. Even between the two of them, you can you can hardly see you know where exactly the border is between one habitat and the other and where the, the guest area ends and the animals area starts. So that's really cool. True, yeah. 
Yeah, really so that's, nice. that's really what I wanted to achieve. Like the one thing I'm really maybe not 100% happy with is the entrance area to the um, to the houses uh, because like, yeah, the one thing that is missing, I'm just going to put this in for you guys as well so you can see what I mean. Um, this is this building over here, which is the uh like the entrance area mm -hmm. um there has to be a little mm. bit more done um i think the the window has to be maybe you know um, lowered down in size a bit and where this one sole guy is for whatever reason <laughs> just standing in front of the window like oh, there's no animal where's the animal <laughs> i don't know uh and yeah my frustration about the the signs as well i think we have to hide the education boards a bit better on the left-hand side, the viewing into the elephant is not completely to my liking at this point because honestly, even though the animals in the game don't break out, but they could easily just step over there. No. Yeah, like, hey, I'm gonna go. Uh, so something to fix. And well, trust honestly, me, the they do. Yeah. They they can climb like really steep rocks. Uh, I've seen them doing that. That you're like, what are you doing up there? Like oh, you're yeah, a giraffe. Well, uh, like, uh, hmm, I was about to say. <laughs> If it was about a giraffe, I need 10 meter fences. I don't know if those <laughs> things still happen, but that was like a few weeks ago for me. But <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really but funny. yeah, that's it. I'm really really nice. Guys... But I, I get what you mean with like the there, there's some uh, some uh, some work that that we could do maybe to uh, tweak yeah. this a little bit. It's, it's a bit of a diamond in that the rough last section, uh, but. I think N7 is the the kind of person who loves polishing diamonds, and <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah! I, I can love see how you him just doing this thing. Another word. <laughs> uh, Parasite. This is so good. Yeah, but no, I'm I'm really happy you guys liked it because, in all honesty, it's again a very very big area. But um, I I started off smaller, but then I was like, okay. The, the space I left to you guys in between the temple and your main street was so small anyways that I was like, you know what, I can just combine it now. It, it, it's that <laughs> way. And you have to take it. <laughs> There's no way, you have to take it anyways. We, yeah. we do, we do. I don't, cool. I don't I don't see Mike replacing this somewhere else. Like, yeah, no, I don't like where this is. <laughs> and he's gonna oh. put everything. So if he wants to replace that area somewhere else, happen. I really, really want to see how he deals yeah. with the traversable area. <laughs> no, it's not, uh, not even, even doable gonna pay for with it, rice fields. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Right, so, yeah, thank you guys um, for sharing this uh, commentary no with problem. me again. And uh, Thank you for having us. <laughs> yeah, welcome. And I really hope that uh, N7 is getting uh, very healthy and happy again to be the one to make the foliage and uh, yeah <laughs> uh, so hopefully if everything itself. goes well next week no one is sick anymore we all oh, had yeah, our that's sickness a good point. <laughs> and then we're all back together again so if you do fine you take over the next one ladies. i'm going to take over the next one yeah i think i'm okay. uh, i think i'm uh, gonna have uh, time and energy to do that for the next week yeah <laughs> that's cool so, guys out there, I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And, um, yeah, let us know in the comments down below if... <laughs> or, no, let's put it that way. Whatever mistakes we did in terms of what we talked about, Sumatra or whatever, let us know yes. in the comments down below yeah. so we know to talk about that better <laughs> next time. <laughs> uh, and also, if you have anything to say about the, the build, we are more than happy to get some, some constructive criticism on that to improve for the future. Yeah, and I'll just say, jump over to the lady. Make sure to check the video out next week. And that's it. Hope Good. to see you next week. All right. Same, same. Bye, guys. Bye, Have a good everyone. One. Bye.